What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we'll have a class setup video for the PKM LMG. Now this weapon was nerfed a few patches ago and I've kind of not seen a lot of people using it since then. Before the patch it was absolutely insane but it is still a very 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 good weapon even after they have kind of nerfed it and toned it down just a bit. I'm going to show you two separate class setups. I've tried to keep the speed on these two classes the best I could. I mean, the, the problem with LMGs and Call of Duty has always been they are one of the slower weapons in game. So I'm trying to keep um, as much mobility as possible because you want to be able to ADS quickly because if you can't ADS quickly, you're going to get beat in this game because the time to kill is so fast. We're going to look at this first class setup. Now, of course, it's my usual perks, EOD, Ghost, Battle Hardened, a Proximity Mine, Stem Shot, and an RPG. This is what I always use in Ground War. Of course, if I'm not playing Ground War, I will change this RPG out to the Deagle. And of course, I will change this proximity mine out to a Simtex. Uh, this first class is, like I said, my personal favorite. I'm going to go with the monolithic suppressor, which is going to give you that sound suppression, damage range, aim down sight speed, and walking steadiness is going to be the con. Of course, the extended barrel is going to give you damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, and then aim down sight speed and movement speed is going to be the cons. And then we're going to slap on the TAC laser, which is going to give us aim down sight speed, aiming stability, aim walking steadiness, but the laser will be visible to enemies. Just keep that in mind, and you can still outsmart people and outplay people, even with this TAC laser on. It's not that big of a deal to me, and I've started running the TAC laser on most every class I have now because of it, it has so many upsides to you know, what you get for using this TAC laser. Also, we're going to go with the Snatch Grip. Now, this is the best grip, in my opinion, because it gives you that recoil control and aim down sight speed. A little bit of a negative or a little bit of a con to the movement speed. And last but not least, the stippled grip tapes for that aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. And the con, of course, is aiming stability. As you can see down here, the mobility is just barely in the red. So it's not a huge difference from what it would be just kind of stock, you know, kind of a stock LMG, you know, if you just had nothing on it. So this is a little bit of a slower class. It has absolutely hardly any recoil. Now, if you wanted to change something out, I would drop the tack laser and put on a sight. But you're going to see the reason that I kind of stay away from the sights now because you're getting a little bit more in the red. You're getting a little bit more mobility kind of knocked down or, you know, kind of knocked off. If you go with something bigger, like if you want to play, you know, a large ground war map and you're trying to see people at a distance, you're going to get even more mobility knocked off. So usually that's why I stay away from the optics on the weapon and use the tack laser. If you do not like uh, the iron sights, you can definitely put on a sight or put on, you know, any kind of sight that you would like. Just be sure that you're pre-aiming with this weapon a lot. This is a, still a slow weapon no matter what you put on it. So make sure that you're always pre-aiming, always knowing which way enemies are coming from because you're going to be a few milliseconds behind with a slower ADS of a LMG. Now the next class setup we're going to have is more of a kind of speed. I wouldn't say run and gun, but you definitely can move around a little bit quicker with this. The only issue with this is a little bit harder to handle the weapon. Uh, the weapon doesn't have a lot of recoil to begin with, but once you sl slap on a no stock attachment, you start losing accuracy, you start losing control. And of course you gain movement speed and aim down sight speed, but aiming stability and recoil control kind of go out the window. Luckily, this does not have a ton of recoil, so you're not gonna get a lot of recoil kind of back from this no stock attachment. Then of course I'm gonna use the tack laser again, which is giving us that aim down sight speed, aiming stability, aim walking steadiness. We're going to go with the small compact barrel here, which is aim down sight speed, movement speed. You're going to lose some bullet velocity and recoil control. Then we're going to go with the stippled grip tape, which is giving us aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. We're going to lose a little bit of aiming stability. And then last but not least, sleight of hand. I like to use this playing like 6v6, 6v6 modes, TDM, DOM, whatever the case may be. Something where you're not having to get into really long range gunfights. You can still pick people off at long ranges but as you can see the mobility is almost you know up to where AR standards would be um, in the mobility bar so that is the good thing now that accuracy that range and that control is a little bit down so what you can do if you're not like running it this way you could always slap on one of these barrels I would probably recommend either way you go head the heavy barrel is going to give you a little bit more range than the uh, the extended barrel I would probably go with an extended barrel. That way you're still good for the mobility and then you're going to kind of level all of your other stats out. So your control is going to be the only thing that's really kind of slacking off. But something about running this compact barrel definitely makes this feel like an AR and you can just kind of run around the map and just kind of play like you're using just a regular, you know, 
M4 or whatever the case may be, a kilo. It just feels very fluid. But like I said, you can always slap one of these barrels on if you want a little bit more control and a little bit more accuracy and a bit more range and still be able to keep that mobility. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've been using the PKM. I think this is a really good gun that a lot of people are kind of sleeping on. You see everybody still using the M4s, the, the MP5s. There's not, there's not a lot of variety right now in the game. You don't see a lot of people using anything that is different because those two guns are so good that, you know, a lot of people want to be able to compete game in and game out. So you better use an M4 or you better use an M, uh, you know, MP5 if you want to compete. But there's a lot of guns out there that will compete. Now, with the PKM, you're not going to be just mowing everybody down that's using an M4A1, but you, you can definitely hang in there and uh, kind of hold your own. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. Click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.